This is Trig Quiz uh, uh, number two review, and here we are focusing on finding uh, derivatives of trig functions um, and applying uh, the rules that uh, we are familiar with, including uh, product rule, chain rule, quotient rule, implicit differentiation, okay, and evaluating the derivative um, at a point. So let's start off with y equals cosine cubed of pi x squared. Find dy dx. Uh, the first thing that I like to do is rewrite uh, this function in terms of um, an exponent and take care of that 3. So we're not changing anything, just rewriting it in the form where maybe it's a little bit easier to identify um, uh, applying a chain rule and um, giving a visual reminder that we're dealing with the most outside function's derivative first and then we're moving in uh, to the uh, uh, to the next inside function, the next function in. So we have cosine cubed of pi x squared. We can rewrite this as cosine pi x squared quantity cubed. And here we see there are three functions. We have the cubed, uh, the uh, bracket cubed, and the next function in is the cosine function and the next function inside of that is pi x squared. So we have to methodically go through and find the derivative um, uh, one function at a time. So we take care of the outermost function first, bring down the 3, so the 3 comes down in front, we keep everything inside the bracket, um, and we subtract 1 from the exponent. So 3 bracket squared takes care of the outside function's derivative. The next function in is the cosine of u, and the derivative for cosine of u is negative sine of u right, times u prime. So negative sine of u is the next function in, takes care of the cosine of u, but then now the pi x squared also needs to be uh, applied its derivative, so pi x squared becomes 2 pi x. Okay, so sine of, negative sine of u times u prime, um, uh, the derivative for x squared is simply uh, 2x and then we attach that pi. We can clean this up a little bit. Uh, we can uh, pull the negative, the 2 pi x and the 3 all outside. Uh, the cosine squared pi x squared times sine of pi x squared. Okay, number 2, given y is equal to sine of pi x over cosine of 2 pi x, evaluate y prime of 0. So here uh, we see that we have to involve a quotient rule because we have um, a numerator and denominator, each with separate functions. We can't combine them. Um, but then within each of these uh, functions, we have to also deal with a chain rule when we get to them. Okay. So first off, um, we do f prime g. So f prime g cosine of pi x becomes cosine of pi x times pi. So f prime times g minus f, so original function up top, times the denominator's function's derivative. So cosine of u becomes negative sine of u times u prime. So the derivative for 2 pi x becomes 2 pi. So all that takes care of the numerator of our chain of our quotient rule, f prime g minus f g prime, all over g squared. Okay. Evaluate y prime 0. So at this point, we can go ahead and uh, replace every x with c with 0 and see if that will help us to clean our um, clean this up a little bit to find evaluate um, this functions um, at this point or the derivative at this point so replace all the x's with 0 so cosine of 0 cosine of 0 sine of 0 sine of 0 now anything that is sine of 0 is just naturally going to go away go to 0 uh, here cosine of 0 becomes 1 so 1 times pi times 1 which is pi Cosine of 0, again, is 1, 1 squared, so pi over 1 is pi. Right, number 3. Uh, if sine of x over 3 cosine of y is equal to 2x, find dy dx. Okay, notice that you have x's and y's that are intermixed um, together. Um, this is not a function that is solved ex exclusively for y equals. So we have to go through implicit differentiation. And so we start off uh, f prime g minus f g prime. So cosine of x becomes, sorry, sine of x becomes cosine of x. Um, 
f prime g 3 cosine of y, y stays 3 cosine y minus top function is the uh, top function so sine of x times the denominator g prime uh, g's derivative so 3 cosine of y becomes negative sine of y dy dx remember with implicit differentiation every time we involve y's derivative we have to attach dy dx okay all over denominator squared 3 cosine y squared is equal to 2 becomes 2x simply uh, becomes 2 uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, multiply both sides by uh, 3 cosine y squared, or think of it as doing cross product. I want to get rid of the denominator. So once I get everything up here, the only uh, dy dx is uh, attached to the 3 sine x sine y. So we need to get this by itself. Um, subtract both sides with uh, 3 cosine x cosine y. And the left side here. Um, uh, well, the 2 multiplies with the 9 cosine squared y, which is uh, 18 cosine squared y, minus 3 cosine x cosine y. We divide all this by 3 sine x uh, sine y. And this is uh, pretty much as far as we can go. We can't cancel out um, anything between numerator and denominator. So here's our derivative uh, using implicit differentiation. Okay, number 4, find dy dx. If sine of pi x plus cosine of pi y quantity squared is equal to 2. Now here we have all this raised to the second power so we have to go through a chain rule first take care of the outside functions derivative first so we bring down the 2 we keep everything inside um, the bracket subtract 1 from the exponent so that becomes 1 times the inside functions derivative so we go through and find the derivative for sine of pi x and cosine of pi y sine of pi x becomes cosine of pi x times pi cosine of pi y becomes negative sine of pi y times pi dy dx so we're involving y's derivative so we have to uh, make sure we attach that dy dx 2 is a constant so 2 goes to 0 um, next thing we can do is we can uh, distribute through so when we distribute through we're going to get um, uh, pi cosine of pi x minus, well what happens here is um, we can actually divide all this out to the other side. So when we divide all this out to the other side, um, that zero over all this will just um, make, all, make all these terms go away, leaving us with just cosine of pi x times pi minus pi um, sine pi y times dy dx. So once we divided um, all of this over to the other side, we're just left with these two terms. And then we can uh, isolate the dy dx by itself, move over uh, the cosine pi, uh, pi cosine pi x to the other side, divide both sides by negative 1, and also, uh, sorry, divide both sides by negative pi sine pi y. Uh, the negative pi is cancel out. We're left with cosine pi x all over sine of pi y. Okay. Bit of a PVA portion problem here. If velocity is v of t sine of 2 t tangent t, find a of t. So we're at the velocity function. We just need to go one derivative down to get to the acceleration. So here you can see that uh, if we want to find the derivative, we have to involve product rule. So product rule says f prime g plus f g prime. So f prime sine 2 t becomes cosine 2 t times 2. f prime g plus f g prime, the derivative for tangent becomes secant squared t. Okay. So once we found uh, accelerations function, we're done with part a. So with part b, it says evaluate the acceleration at t equals pi. So now we're going to replace every t value with pi. So 2 cosine of 2 pi, tangent of pi, plus sine of 2 pi, secant squared pi. Uh, cosine of 2 pi becomes 1, tangent of pi is 0 sine of 2 pi is 0, and secant squared pi, secant pi is negative 1, but negative 1 squared will become 1. So we have, we have 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0.